It's 2018 everyone. First video of the year. I want to explain what's to come at least in the short term and hopefully in the long term. Please stick around. Let's roll to the intro. I know it's been a long time since I've put out a video. Uh, it's probably been at least three weeks, uh, if not more now. There's been a lot going on. You know, we had the holidays. I was sick for a week. My wife has been sick. Uh, just, you know, dealing with family. I've just been busy and I haven't had the opportunity to really put out a lot or to make any videos and to edit and put them out and blah, blah, blah. Um, I've gotten some a little bit of b-roll footage that's about been about it so this is video is pretty much just to kind of catch you all up on what i plan on putting out uh and i'd say in the near future a couple of uh videos that are, i'm gonna be doing here are gonna be basically review videos um i know they're not gonna be rv related per se but they can be linked for people who are vlogging for the first time and for full timers you know um there's more and more people that are starting to uh, document their journey, whether it be a vacation or full time, but they're starting to vlog more or, you know, at least video record their journey or photography even, you know, it's more and more pictures with the digital world. You know, you can put massive amounts of video and picture contents on, you know, hard drives. And I'm going to do a review on some I got for Christmas. It's a uh, Canon, uh, T7i uh, Rebel, the video creator kit. Uh, I have a funny story to tell with this, but this is going to be one of the reviews is on the camera and the kit and what comes with it and the pros and cons so far that I've experienced with the camera. And I will put it in a disclaimer now and I'm going to put a disclaimer in that video. I am by no means a expert in this field. There are people that have a ton more knowledge than I do. This is just my own personal opinion and review on these items so that's going to be one is going to be on the camera another review i'm going to be doing is on this which hopefully you can see this uh it is a hp omen laptop another review will be on the uh software i use to edit uh which is this at hip film express and why i choose this uh software and and the pros and cons of using this software again i know it's not rv uh directly related but like i said there are more and more people that are wanting to record their journeys and you know when i first started doing this you know i did a lot of research and you know there's many uh many video creators and and content out there that you can look at to to get tips for uh one uh that i highly recommend is uh peter mckinnon uh another one is sean uh Cannell. uh hopefully i'm saying his name right uh tim schmoyer from video creators uh uh daryl eaves uh all these people have tons of tips you know and so and they have a lot of knowledge and and this is just my little tribute to help especially in the rv world i guess you could say because mine's more going to be focused towards that year they're just in general uh how to make good content and uh they got good reviews on cameras and stuff and this is just going to be my little reviews and stuff so another uh, uh video series that i'm going to be putting out will be this it's the cincinnati dayton rv show which will be held january 25th and the 28th it's going to be at the dayton convention center in downtown dayton on fifth street uh the ticket prices are ten dollars for adult 12 uh, kids 12 and under are free i'll put a link uh, for the, their website in the description below. I'm gonna plan on being there probably that Saturday, which is the 27th. I'm gonna try to go in as many uh, camper, you know, RVs, uh, fifth wheels, travel trailers, and, and I'm gonna be picking and choosing. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, probably the majority of them will probably be toy haulers, but we'll probably will go in some, you know, the class A motorhomes, you know, and, and luxury fifth wheels. I encourage anyone who's in around the area to go to it. Uh, it ought to be interesting this year. I'm 
previous years that I've gone, it's been held at the Dayton Expo Center in Vandalia. And that was a pretty good uh, wide space that they had indoors. This year at the Dayton Convention Center, it's been many, many years since I've been in that building. So I'm not real sure how they're going. Hopefully they'll have just as many as they have in previous years, but it'll be interesting to see how they fit all those RVs, especially the big ones inside that building. But I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I'm really excited. Uh, you know, me and my wife have been going for the last several years. Uh, I've always had a good time. So that's pretty much it. You know, I'm just giving you kind of a heads up of what's to come. Uh, if you see me at the Dayton Convention Center or, you know, at the RV show, you know, stop and say hi. You know, we'll always say hi. Uh, I want to uh, let you know that, you know, I'm going to be trying to put out video content now more on a regular basis uh, hopefully it'll be every thursday i'm going to try to put out better content i mean this is my goal this year this is my 2018 goals or re resolutions uh you can i guess you could say um i don't usually do new year's resolutions but this year i'm going to try to put out some goals one goal is to try to start downsizing our living space uh start to get rid of the objects and stuff that we don't use all the time that we know we won't need uh you know you know dvds uh, uh books you know stuff like that another goal is to put out better content uh more content better content better quality uh i'm hoping to just ramp up my youtube channel a little bit and the buckeye traveler brand a, a kickstart into the new year and, and really just get it going by the end of the year i mean i that that's my goal i mean it's something i've been i've been enjoying doing i started last october it was more or less just for fun and i the more i do it the more i'm enjoying it and i'm getting more into it and i enjoy the whole process it's it's very time consuming putting a lot of effort into it and and i wouldn't need to put more effort into it actually to get that quality out there. To me, that's been one of the biggest issues and, and hangups is me talking to the camera, talking to you guys. It's been an experience. It's, I, I, I you know, want to keep on doing it. The more you do it, the better you get, the more comfortable you get, and I'm going to keep on doing it. Whether I get zero likes or zero subscribers, or I get, you know, 100,000 subscribers, I, it's just something I'm still going to be doing in some shape or form. And I appreciate the people that have been watching some of these and it's been sticking with. I promise you I'm going to get better. Video content's going to be better. That's my goal this year. That's one of my major ones is to put out good quality content on YouTube. And I hope that you guys will be there with me to, to share the journey and see what else comes out out of this. So that's about it for me rambling today. Uh, sure you've had enough of my talking head here uh, so if you've gotten anything out of this video give it a like hit the thumbs up button subscribe if you're not already i will see you in the next video see ya